Good morning. It's Friday. And I have good news today. Right. You know, I was thinking about this. You know, all the madness that we see, this is actually a vital part of the awakening. You know, the more mad they get, the more people will wake up. So I'll bring it on. We need more of this insanity. I'll just give you one example of this. You know how they say, sometimes they say, that if you disagree with the official narrative and you express your views, you are a threat to democracy, right? <laughs> it's so stupid. It's unbelievable. But they actually say it and they don't stop saying it, do they? They use this sometimes, right? <laughs> You know, and even a quite stupid person, I think, would eventually realize that, hang on a minute, what's going on here? You know, if I disagree, I'm a threat to democracy. If I speak about it, if I agree, it's all fine. If I agree with you, it's fine. If I disagree, I'm a threat to democracy. You know, it's so stupid. Of course. So, and the more they do this, of course, the more people will wake up. You know, even the slightly ignorant, maybe. So, it's all good. This is what I think. Yeah, the good news is this. Uh, there's a court case in, there are two court cases in London, I think. There's a lawyer, Peter Todd, from Scott Moncrief and Associates. He's got two cases and 50 more clients, nearly 50, who will formally sue AstraZeneca in the coming months. And this is reported by media. I wonder what media thinks about this. It's reported in Reuters. You know? And in the Swedish newspaper I saw, a big, big newspaper in Sweden, Aftonbladet. I mean, this means that they are probably a threat to democracy, right? Because if I talk about this, I am a threat to democracy. If I speak clearly about these things, and now they are doing it, so I suppose they are now a threat to democracy. I, I don't know. This is how it works. Anyway, so media is talking about it. I'll just read parts of the article here in the Swedish newspaper. Aftonbladet, evening paper. They said the pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca is being sued for a death and for a person allegedly being seriously injured. The death concerns a woman in London who died in March 2021 of a blood clot after drinking the tea. The person who was seriously injured was a man, also from a blood clot and from London. Around 50 lawsuits from other victims uh, came in. But the two mentioned cases will be the first to go to court related to COVID. So they wrote this article, and uh, it's a short one. I think uh, they don't want to, <laughs> maybe, because they are now a threat to democracy, you know. Well, that's what it is, isn't it? Uh, I also want to mention this, Ron Schneider, you know, the actor. Uh, I, know, I never thought about this guy, really. I saw some movies with this guy. Now he's one of us. Now he's doing a fantastic job. He did some good stuff earlier. Now he did another one. I think he did another one. Maybe it's an old video, but I saw it yesterday. He's talking about Anthony Fauci. <laughs> it's, it's very funny. And, and the mask, you know. Anthony Fauci and the Tooth Fairy. It's very good. I can't describe it. So, but I post a link to this thing with Ron Schneider. I'm so happy to see these people doing things, you know. And he's getting lots, lots of laughs. Oh, this is a good sign. 
something is really happening. So I'm very happy about this. Uh, finally this, you know, I talked yesterday about Food for Pure Bloods, this project, this project that we are doing here, me and my girlfriend, that there are now uh, nine people getting free food from us because they are pure bloods. There was a comment, and I have to mention this, it was a comment from somebody who said, I don't get it. Why do you give food only to pure bloods? Why not the other ones? Those who took the tea, why don't you give food to them? They need it too, right? I don't understand. I'm not sure if this was a joke or not. I don't, I'm not sure. It made me laugh. Well, here's the thing. I, I think I want to explain this. You know, this thing with the tea was like a big test for me. You know, because all the people who could stand up against it they are people that I want to know. See? I'm interested in these people. That's the thing. And I want to give them something. Some, it's like a reward, basically. I want to reward them for standing up. You know, having a backbone. That's the thing. So that's my answer. If it was a serious question. All right, I wish you a great weekend. Be good.